Hello, I am Torior, and today we're going to discuss the Asari of the Mass Effect universe. If you don't know, the Asari are a race of blue-skinned hot ladies from space. Yeah, I know it sounds silly and suspicious, but what began as a sci-fi trope of blue-skinned or green-skinned ladies that humans could get with in space evolved into quite an interesting race, or rather species. What is interesting about the Asari is that they can mate and produce offspring with practically any other species, and what is even more weird and interesting is that all the other species, or sentient ones at least, in the Mass Effect uh, universe find them attractive. It would not be outside of the realm of possibilities for a human to be attracted to a lovely blue-skinned lady with perfect body proportions. However, why would the Turians, the Salarians, or even the Krogan find Asari attractive? It could just be an easter egg from the developers, but in Mass Effect 2 you can actually encounter a bachelor party with a human, a Salarian and a Turian that all discuss the Asari appearance and say that they look exactly like their species, and here's the scene. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm... I I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. You don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. The suggestion of the Asari influencing their potential mates' consciousness in order to be perceived as attractive is not really that weird, because all Asari are born with biotic abilities. So theoretically they could influence the minds of all that they meet, so that they are perceived as attractive possible mates. If we assume that the Asari have the capabilities of uh, modifying how they are perceived by other species, that can go as far as uh, modifying their facial features to be attractive to others. Or it could go as far as modifying their whole bodies. Maybe they're just a mass of tentacles doing all these things. And that we will probably never know. There is a counter-argument to that. Uh, in Mass Effect 3, I believe, we see a bunch of stone statues of the Asari, which would theoretically not be influenced by biotic powers because they are not alive. And that would also influence all the videos of Asari and other depictions, mostly drawings. But as the nature of biotic powers is not something scientific but uh, purely speculational from our point of view, it could be ascertained that um, just a massive biotic field permeates the galaxy, influencing all the other species in order to um, have them perceive Asari as attractive. So, can't really disprove that, can't prove that, it's a theory. More a hypothesis, really. Another piece of evidence is the first encounter between Shepard and Morinth, uh, when she changes her appearance in Shepard's mind, using her biotic powers, presumably. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. As we can see, the Asari are capable of manipulating the mind. When a human couple has a kid, the DNA from the mother and the father is combined to create the new being. However, in Asari reproduction, the new offspring is not a combination of the species, it is simply an Asari. And the father is not really the father. And what I mean by that is that his DNA is not combined with the DNA of the Asari, it is only used to introduce random mutations into the original genetic code, as to avoid any redundancies, and so on. And here's my proof. I don't think you realize that our kids Where would always have been kids? Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that, that we're not taking alien like DNA, like we're just all. using it to randomize some of the genetic information. So someone who has a child with an Asari isn't really the father in the biological sense of the word. Uh, they are merely foster parents that somehow contributed to the creation of the child. And it might not matter on the philosophical uh, level, but it certainly does matter on the species preservation level, because uh, reproduction is a way of preserving the genome, of passing the genes along, on, of furthering the species. Anyone who mates with an Asari does not further their own species, only the Asari. This does make the Asari as a species parasitic in nature. Now bear with me, because who would imagine that lovely Liara would be a parasite? No, the individual Asari are not parasites. What is parasitic 
is the whole species and its interaction with other species. Uh, for example, the Asari that mates with the Turian will only produce Asari offspring. So the more interspecies relations are had between, for example, the Turians and the Asari, the more Asari are born and the less Turians, because uh, the Asari are often in monogamous relationships, which means that often the mate, in this case a Turian, will not produce a Turian offspring, but only the Asari ones, which as a whole would strengthen the Asari species while weakening the Turian species, and that applies to all the other species in the Mass Effect universe. Uh, Turians, humans, uh, Salarians, I think there was even a Krogan, maybe, maybe even others. So, as a single Asari is not a parasite, the species does weaken other species in order to strengthen itself. That, combined with their very long lifespan, means that the Asari could theoretically, over thousands of years, keep strengthening their species while weakening all the others, and finally, over the course of time, become the dominant uh, species again in the galaxy, extinguishing all other life or rather assimilating it, because an Asari is seen as very attractive, and that is primarily how mates are chosen. Potentially the Asari do have the capability of bringing other species into extinction and strengthening their own, spreading all across the galaxy. However, would they do it and would they be allowed to do it are the other questions. And I don't think they would. From what we've seen of the Asari society in-game, they are not really interested in conquest. So that's one thing. Even if it's cultural conquest. And, let's say, killing them not with kindness, but with, with hotness and love. As we have seen from the example of the Krogan genophage, uh, all these species of the Mass Effect universe are aware of things like population control. And if it, it became apparent that the Asari were growing out of control in numbers, they would probably be stopped, or at least attempts would be made towards that goal. However, the Asari lifespan is very, very long, and they could theoretically make changes gradually over thousands of years, so that other species would not notice. This is debatable whether they would or would not attempt uh, such a way of overtaking the galaxy, because uh, for the Asari genetic diversity is quite important, Maybe they wouldn't want to wipe out the other species, but they certainly have the capabilities of doing so. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to let me know by clicking the like button and commenting. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.